welcome to your freshman dorm <laughs> orientation. Okay, um, my name is Michelle, along with my co-captain Jamie. We're going to be your RAs for the upcoming year. Now, before we get you guys assigned with roommates and stuff, we're going to let you guys talk, maybe a little bit, get to know each other, because having a roommate you get along with is crucial, not only for how you'll do your freshman year, but possibly for the rest of your life. Um, sure. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to the mingling. Why are we doing this? Shouldn't we have just assigned them roommates before they got here? Because that's what happened to me my freshman year. The dean is trying something new this year. According to a case study, students who have a positive freshman year experience are 80% more likely to leave a happy, healthy, and more productive life than those who didn't. And the number one factor in having a positive freshman year experience is... Pizza! A compatible roommate. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Jamie, do you ever pay attention? It kind of comes and goes, I guess. Okay. Um, anyway, let's just help these guys get compared with a compatible roommate. Because <laughs> if this case study is right, it's not just their college years at stake. It could be their whole lives. You know, whenever I hear that a case study was found, I get kind of suspicious. You know, like, who made the case study? Like I heard on NPR the other day that birds are 70% more likely to defecate on houses with a solar panel. <laughs> solar panels. Like, who made that study? Who gave them the funding to do that study? How could they possibly know that? I'm sure <laughs> someone really prestigious and high up did the study, like Yale. Oh, wow, really? Yale did the case study. Or someone like Yale, look, it doesn't matter, okay? Our lives as RAs will be a lot easier if the roommates get along, <laughs> right? Right, that's all you really had to say, because I don't want to do a lot of work this year, uh -huh. so let's find these weirdos some good roommates. Chloe! Chloe, have you met Brienne? I think you guys come from the same area, because yeah. Brienne is from Fairfax, Virginia, and Chloe, you're from Arlington. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I don't want to be, like, weird, but I don't want to talk about that, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. I mean, there's literally nothing wrong with Arlington. Arlington's great. It's just, I don't want to be labeled, you know? I want to reinvent myself. Who is Chloe Fintermill? Could be anyone. Okay, well, I just thought it might give you and Brienne more okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. germs are spread through your hands. If 93% of the population would actually take steps to eradicate germs from the person, <laughs> then the world would be 84% less likely to catch 93% of the world's most deadliest diseases. <laughs> but apparently, the likelihood of you respecting my personal boundaries is negative 100%. <laughs> Enjoy herpes! <laughs> <laughs> so, it looks like I can't be a germaphobe because that's already taken. And um, she's doing a great job. <laughs> you know, maybe I could be an extreme sports girl. You know, one that drank Red Bull and jumped off things. People would like that, right? Chloe, I think you're taking the reinventing yourself thing just a tiny too far. Whatever, man. I'm Chloe. I like to jump off things and ride on things with wheels to the extreme. Chloe, calm down and be yourself. People are going to think. You're crazy! But this is real. Watch <laughs> out, freshies! Oh, if you're about to get a dose of Chloe! <laughs> <laughs> so, have you gotten a chance to see our dining hall? Our room's Sorry! Area. Testing. Testing. Michigan. Mitch. I. Gan. <laughs> <laughs> and three. Two. Hello, I fanatics, Riley Axe, Riley Bots, and everyone else out there in Riley Nation. This is Riley Corningstone, and you're listening to The Riley Hour, a podcast having to do with everything about the one, the only, Riley Corningstone. Today, we're talking to Michelle, my RN uptight dresser. So, Michelle, tell me, what's happening in your love life? Oh, uh, I, I don't know what you're doing, but please, please stop. I Ooh, struck a nerve. I'm going to guess your love life is not going so great. No. 
What's his name? Did he cheat? Dump you? Let's start a Twitter campaign. No, no, I have a sweet and devoted boyfriend, and everything's fine. <laughs> Turn that off. Okay. Fine. I have an hour to fill, so it would help if you answer the questions. I didn't agree to be on your radio. Podcast. Show. Podcast. Radio. What are you, my grandma Irene? Now's not the time. Every time is the time. The Riley Hour is my life. No apologies, no compromises. I have literally dozens of listeners who are dying to know how my freshman year turns out. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I can't be a part of it. Fine, I respect your decision not to give your side of the story, but just know, I did try to get it on the record. Well, that was Michelle, everyone. She ran into the bathroom crying. Apparently the wounds of a bitter lover were too much for her to handle. But let's keep this train a chugging and see who else wants to take a ride on the roller coaster of Riley. R Riley, don't put that online. I don't want Evan thinking I'm unhappy. And she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle? Uh, yeah. Dana Bruckenheimer, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being <laughs> such an amazing mixer. Oh, dear, you're welcome, Mark. You enjoying it so far? Enjoying it? Oh, uh, yeah. This is amazing. Why'd you like it? Oh, I love it. The table with the cups and the snacks and the drinks and the name tags. You're blowing my mind, Michelle. Blowing my mind. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, um, have you, um, have you liked everything going around? I mean, there's just, where are you from? Oh, I'm, I'm from Alaska. Um, Ever heard of Borkingstown? No. Neither has Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> my whole school was just 12 people, and my grade was me and two other girls. So there were no parties or sports teams or any of that stuff. But I was told college? College is where people Get to a room. Oh, and they eat things and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, it's true. And look at the lights. Uh -huh. So light and lock. Uh huh. Well, uh, they're just fluorescent. So I was actually thinking if you put some gels up on there. They no, 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 no! Don't change a thing. It's perfect. Okay, well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Dana, but just remember, um, a lot of students come here and forget the reason they're here is to get an education. <laughs> I know what my parents sacrificed to get me. Chips! <laughs> <laughs> Chips! Michelle, you set the bar to 10 and you raise it to a 12! I'm gonna go get my chip on! <laughs> <laughs> How's it going so far? Okay, I guess there's a little strange mm -hmm. so far. Yeah, I got a couple of weirdos too. Well, maybe we're pushing too hard. Maybe we should hang back. I don't know. I find that's usually worse. Come on, just... Trust me, let's hang back and see what happens. Okay. Hey there! Is, uh, well? How are you liking the old college experience thus far? A table with snacks, cool people. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Uh, yes. The food is fine. Richard Chips? I don't see those too much often anymore. I'm just hoping that we're going to get our dorm room soon. I have a very important meeting in approximately three minutes with my warriors of blocking. Any delay in my rendezvous could be detrimental to an entire race of dreams. Dreams? A mythological creature, half human, half bat, half slug, and it does not need a mate to reproduce. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But that make them a third human, a third bat, a third slug. That is an excellent point. I have to bring that up to the next Glocken meeting. Ooh, 
I found someone to get a kick out of that discovery. <laughs> so, is this like World of Warcraft? I have a cousin that got so into that game that his mom made him. What? World of Warcraft? World of Warcraft. Claiming that words of blocking is in any way similar to World of Warcraft is like saying that uh, the Mona Lisa is like some stupid drawing that your sister made when she was in kindergarten. Yes. They're both still technically paintings, but I doubt that you'll see your sister's art in the Pavilion de Marston, now would you? Whoa, 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 whoa. No offense intended. Just trying to spoil that noggin a little. Just trying to get to the core of Isabel, you know? Do a little psychological archaeology with Isabel being my dinosaur bones. I mean, you can't make friends if you don't break down the social barriers. You can't make a personal connection we don't break through the mental dam. <laughs> I mean, uh, you put up a wall in front of Sophia, and I will explode oh! the oh. barriers with my personality dynamite. Whoa. Whoa. Internet! Hey, Internet! What's, what's going on? <laughs> this witch has severed my ties to the fellowship of Glock, and I demand the court martial. A court martial? <laughs> She's really into a fancy game online. Oh, kind of like Warcraft, right? It's not. You stay away from me, you freak! Okay, let's go <gasps> somewhere else. <laughs> all I want is a dorm room with a desk and a high-speed Wi-Fi signal. That's all I want. And you'll get it. We're just still trying to work out the roommates. <sighs> Some people are just too uptight. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, see, yeah. Um, just, just keep mingling and maybe yeah. ease up on the play Friday plushy stuff. No can oh do, boss Rita. <laughs> Fish gotta swim, eagles gotta be the symbol for our America. <gasps> Sophia? Well, she's gotta touch people, whether they like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> that went great. Uh, was it the best idea? Mm -mm. Um, okay, uh, we met almost everyone. Who else is left? Uh, Helen and what's her name? Uh, Chase? Chase. Uh, I talked to her a little bit. She seems pretty normal. Oh, great. We need normal. Um, Helen, Chase, come here. <laughs> 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 we, we haven't gotten a chance to talk to you so far. How are things going? Not good. <laughs> are, are you okay? Physically? Eh. Emotionally? No, not at all. Oh, um, are you homesick? More like home dying. I <laughs> see this beige room. This one beige room, and all I can think of is Rhode Island. <laughs> Rhode Island, with its violet flowers, maple trees, and Cumberlandite stones. Rhode Island, where you can smell the air. <sighs> and the fertile grounds of wound socket shoot straight into your nostrils like a potpourri scented missile. I miss my home. I miss my friends. I miss my senses being assaulted by Rhode Island. Oh, no. um, look, um, oh, uh, there's a really beautiful park just a few blocks away from your dorm, and I'm sure... Surely what? That the trees in stupid Auckland Park are just as good as a red maple? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you think some stupid park is supposed to replace the deep well of love Rhode Island has in my heart? Do you think my boyfriend Derek is just going to magically appear and give me a big hug? Because unless that happens, I don't think a stupid park is going to help. Well, we were just trying to help. <gasps> hello, oh, hello, hello. Oh my God, Derek. It's so nice to hear your voice. Oh my God, no, this school is terrible. I hate it and I want to come home. I'm just glad to hear you. I missed you so... Wait, Derek? Hello, Derek? God. Curse this school and the liberal art Quakers who founded it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chase, I'm sorry about that. Eh, no worries. It must be tough. Are you having any separation issues? Nah. 